As Mad Matt begins his lap, he will experience a force from the back of his seat. His body wants to stay still, but the seat is pushing him forwards. As he gets moving, the force from the seat will get less. When he gets to the first corner, he will want to move in a straight line, but the car goes around the corner, so he feels a force pushing him towards the centre of the curve. This is called the centripetal force. Since it is only a shallow curve, he'll feel a relatively gentle centripetal force from the restraints and from his seat. He will also feel a little bit of force from the seat belt on his chest if he decides to touch the brakes at the same time. He will accelerate along the next straight and feel the force from the back of his seat until he reaches the U-bend. Once he reaches the U-bend, he'll brake hard and he'll feel the seat belt pressing hard into his chest. At the same time, he'll turn the corner and his body will want to keep moving in a straight line. Instead, the restraints push him back into the track and he experiences a centripetal force again. Matt will now accelerate down the next straight and feel the force from the back of the seat. At the next shallow curve, he will not reduce his speed, but he'll feel the centripetal force as his body tries to continue in a straight line, but he goes around the corner. Moving on, he will need to decelerate at the next bend with a small touch of the brakes, and again he will feel a centripetal force as he turns. There will be a short acceleration and then deceleration for the next corner, and he'll get pushed again to the centre of the curve as he goes around it. At the top bend, Matt will want to accelerate and then brake for the final bend, and he'll feel the centripetal force as he tries to get round as fast as possible for his flying lap. He will now go hard onto the accelerator and feel a small sideways force as he goes through the chicane just before he passes the start-finish line.